Welcome to NURS 2232, Professional Nursing and Life Skills. My name is Dr. Dina Furr and I'm going to be your professor this semester and I'd like to introduce you to the class in this short five-minute video. First of all, I think you'll find the class is set up like other Blackboard classes that you're used to. Uh, we have announcements, syllabus, and schedule. Be sure to take a look at my assignment tips in preparing for exams. And notice that all 12 weeks have their own menu item with everything that you'll need to do for the week right there. Let's take a quick look at the syllabus. I'm in office room 220 of Pickard Hall. And um, my office hours are mostly 9 to 5. I'm happy to meet with you. And uh, you can use my email address to uh, let me know if you want to meet in person or by phone. Uh, you do need to make a C in order to not have to take this class again, but I don't, I don't think you'll have a problem with that. Um, you will need to read the attestation and upload it uh, by September 1. I'm going to show you where that is. It's on the last page of this syllabus. You'll fill this out and scan it and upload it into the portal for week 1. There is a syllabus portal just for that. There's three required textbooks. The most important is the Saunders Comprehensive Review. Normally at UTA we love it when you can get textbooks cheaply and used. This particular one you are going to have to buy new because you need the online resources that come. There's a little code in the front cover and you'll definitely be using those for 20% um, of your grade comes from doing test questions. The next one, by the same author, same company, Strategies for Test Success. We will be using this. And the third one is by Straker and Kelman, and um, this is the latest edition, 2007. You can purchase this from Amazon. You can go to the company website and buy it, and uh, this one you can get used. We're going to be discussing time management, test taking preparation, test taking skills and strategies, managing test anxiety. We're going to set you up to succeed in this class, uh, and succeed in all your nursing classes. Here's how the class is set up. There are actually two exams, but don't worry, they are open book. Uh, they are timed, but you can do this. There are weekly quizzes. Uh, there's various assignments, and um, you'll find those listed each week. The grade calculation is done in the same way that it typically is in all the other nursing classes. You can turn things in up to 48 hours late, although there are penalties uh, for doing so. And let's see. We are going to have you test at home, not here. You can test at home in your own home uh, or someplace else. Essentially though you do need to work alone. Um, we do send students to uh, the Office of Student Conduct. If we feel there has been some academic dishonesty they do a, an investigation and you can lose points from your assignments if you if you do this or even um, make a failing grade in the class. So make sure you're doing your own work here. <clears throat> I would like to scroll down, uh, take a note of the university honor code, and then um, if you need help in any of your classes on APA or writing, we have our own nursing librarian named Rayanna Jeffers who happens to be a nurse as well as a librarian and she's been really helpful to our students in the past. Let's take a quick look at the schedule. You'll notice that everything is, is laid out as logically as I can make it here. The week begins with a Sunday and ends Saturday night at 2359. That's when all assignments are due. There's not multiple due dates for this class. It'll tell you exactly what what needs to be done. Notice that there is a five-day test plan. I've put this right up front and highlighted it so that you can get to working on it because it's due pretty soon. It needs to be turned in five to seven days before the first exam in one of your other classes that you're taking. If you're taking foundations, this will need